In our last lesson, we got to write this number that we're going to write today. See if you know. Watch. Count in your brain. Popcorn. Carter, what number? Five. Five, it is. Good job, you may be seated. We're going to write number five again. Number five starts on a red dot. It slants down just a bit. We curve up and around and down to the pink carpet and right back up again and we finish and then we pick up our pencil we go back to the red dot and we're going to put on his ball cap we're going to walk straight across on that ceiling in our last lesson i saw some beautiful number fives we're going to work on that today in our, in our last lesson i saw some nice slants in our last lesson i saw some nice hats. We're gonna walk right across, just like that. I hope you're gonna do your best today. Class, stand. Clappers up. Clap five times, begin. One, two, three, four, five. Clappers up. Let's tap our knees five times. One, two, three, four, five. Clappers up. Tap your shoulders five times. One, two, three, four, five. Clappers up. Let's do our fun clapping. Are you ready to five? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, let's do that one again. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Quietly turn your chairs into the table. Turn your chairs quickly and quietly. Oh, look at these hard workers. I love it. We're doing it so quickly and quietly. Go ahead and take out your paper. Boys and girls watching, you go ahead and prepare for this paper as well. Go ahead and take out your pencil. Let's see, let me check this table over here. What does daddy say? What does mommy say? And what does the baby say? Good, let's check right now. Are you sitting up straight and tall? Do you have your back on your back, your tummies to the table? Helper hand in the corner. I see some helper hands there, good. Oh, Joseph, get that pencil out. Good. Got to be ready to go. Check those babies. I see some babies trying to get in the front seat. Those babies will not stay safe if they're not in the back seat in the seatbelt. Good. All right. Pencil rest on the camel and eyes this way. We're in the blue box, but your eyes are on me and you're just resting on the camel because it's my turn. I start at the red dot. I slant down to just a little bit. I slant down, then I'm gonna go up and around and curve down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna come up and finish. Then I pick up my pencil, I touch the red dot, and I walk across on the ceiling making his hat. Go to the first blue box. The first blue box. We're not tracing, we're just putting our pencil there. We're not scribbling on the red dot. We're just making a nice dot. Good. All right, boys and girls watching, are you ready to do a good job today? I'm sure you are. Here we go, slant down. Then curve up and around and down to the floor and come up and finish. Pick up your pencil, touch the red dot. Again, you're just touching it and walk across to make his hat. And then pencil rest on the camel again. Now we're in the orange box. Your pencil resting and your eyes are on me. Good, Connor and Lucy, I love those eyes. We're gonna start on a red dot. We're gonna slant down just a little bit. We're gonna curve up and around and down to the bottom and then come up and finish. Then I pick up my pencil, I touch the red dot and I walk across. Now it's your turn. Touch the red dot in the orange box. Begin. Slant down. 
Curve up and around. And down and back up. Wow, I see some nice tracing. Let's look at our tracing today. Wow, very nice. Don't forget your hat. Go to the red dot and put on your hat. Very nice. Hmm, curve around slowly. Good. Very nice tracing. I like that hard work. All right, pencil rest on the camel again and eyes this way. We're in the green box. Watch me. I slant down just a little bit. I curve up and around and down. I curve back up and finish. Then I pick up my pencil, I touch the red dot, and I walk across to make his hat. Go to the green box. Here we go. Let's try really hard on this one that we're going to stay on the tracks. Here we go. Slant down. Curve up and around. And down and up and finish. Go back up to the red dot and put on his hat. Very nice. Pencil rest on the camel. Oh, we're in the purple box. I start at the red dot. I slant down just a bit. I curve up and around and down and come up and finish. Then I pick up my pencil, touch the red dot, and I walk across to make his hat. Go to the purple box. Mm, make sure your mommy and daddy are holding on tight. That way your pencil stays in your hand. Here we go. Walk, slant down. Curve up and around and down and back up and finish. Pick up your pencil, touch the red dot, and walk straight across to put on his hat. Pencil rest on the camel. Eyes this way. Watch. I slant down. I curve up and around and down to the floor and right back up and finish. Then I pick up my pencil, I touch the red dot, and I walk along the ceiling to make his hat. Go to the yellow box. Last one. Best one. Good. Let's make our very best. Here we go. Slant down just a little bit. Curve up and around. Make your ball. Look at your paper. That'll help you. Slant down and curve around. Curve that way. You could do it. Yep, you're doing it. Curve down and back up and finish. Then pick up your pencil, go back to the ceiling. Watch, see how you went and curve this way? So you gotta go this way and then this way. You try it. And then put on his hat. Mm, I see some nice number fives. We're working hard. Pencils to bed. Take out your crayons. Put them on your house. Now let's look at this paper for just a minute. And eyes this way. Go ahead, Joseph. Put it right inside your desk. And eyes this way. Let's look at our paper. I see a camel. And I see, let's count these together. One, two, three, four, five. I see five big vases of water or pots. Big pots of water. Now, when I think of pots, I think of like when you go to the store and you buy pots with flowers in them or the kind of pots that they might have used back in Bible times and they're kind of made out of terracotta. Say that word with me, it's funny. Terracotta. Terracotta is like an orange color. So that's what color we're going to color it. Now, you know what this paper reminds me of? Hmm. It reminds me in the Bible of when Abraham sent his servant to go find a bride for Isaac. And remember, he sat down on that well, and when he sat down on the well, he started to pray and ask God to show him something. Hmm, Angelina, what did he need? Water. Well, he did need water, but he needed somebody to come to the well, and who was that supposed to be for? For Isaac, a bride for Isaac. Lauren, remember how he prayed that the person that would come 
to the well would be the one that would be the bride for Isaac. And Catherine, is that the one that came? Did God answer the servant's prayer? He did, didn't he? He answered his prayer. And when that servant came and he said, can you please give me a drink of water? She also gave who some water? Camels. The camels, that's right. So that's what this picture kind of reminds me of. So we're gonna color this picture together. Look right here first. We're gonna color these pots orange so it looks like it's terracotta. Look right here. Watch me. I'm coloring so nicely. Oh, I think I've lost some eyes. Can I have all my pretty eyes? Let's see, let me see all your eyes at me. Good, good. Look right here. I'm coloring so nice. And now I don't wanna get my water color turned orange. I don't wanna drink orange water. Now if I was drinking orange juice, yes, orange juice is delicious. But I don't want my water to have orange stuff in it. That would be kind of gross. So I wanna make sure that I am coloring so nicely. Jonathan, are you watching how I'm staying right inside my orange lines? I'm not getting it on the well. I'm not getting it in the water. I'm doing such a nice job. Pick up your orange crayon. And color all of the pots orange. I'm gonna finish these two. We're gonna color all the pots orange. And I'm taking my time and making it so nice. Do a good job. Good. I see some pretty colors. Boys and girls watching, how are you doing? Are you coloring pretty? Are you taking your time and not scribbling? Mm. Take your time and don't scribble. God is watching. God sees everything. I hope you're doing your best for Jesus today. I hope you're taking your time. Use this hand. This is your hand that you color in. Good. Joseph's taking his time. Catherine's taking her time. Good job. We are doing our best. Remember going slow so we don't get our orange inside of our water. Mm -hmm. Nice work. God. Can the same God that answered the prayer of the servant way back then still answer prayers today? Yes, he sure can. He sure can answer our prayers today. Sometimes he says yes, sometimes he says wait. Sometimes he says no, because he knows what's best for us. But we can talk to God just like the servant did. The servant talked to God, and he answered his prayer. Nice job. I see some very pretty coloring. Very nice. Boys and girls watching, are you doing your best? Are you staying inside the lines? I hope so. We should be improving every day, trying to stay inside the lines, making nice writing. That's why we practice. Just like David, he practiced his harp and his what? Sling. His slingshot. That's right, he had to practice with those things so that he could help the king not be so angry when he used his harp with his beautiful music and so that he could fight that big Goliath. If he never used that slingshot before, I don't know if he could have used it that day. He had a practice, just like we're practicing our letters. Finish that one. And our numbers, we practice every day how to write our letters and our numbers. We're doing a great job. Keep your paper down, good. Mm -hmm. I see it, you're doing your best. I am proud of you. All right, orange crayons down and eyes this way. Now, let's look. I see the well. 
And the well is usually made out of stone. And stone is usually a gray color. And since we don't really have a gray crayon, we're gonna use our black crayon and make our black crayon look gray. So that means that we have to color really super lightly with our black crayon. Watch Mrs. Stewart. I'm gonna just color so lightly I'm barely even pressing. Oh, you have to watch, my list so you can see how to make it look gray. I'm going so slow and barely even touching the paper with my crayon. And that way it makes it look all gray. Catherine, do you see that? Do you see how my paper is looking gray? Look. I'm going so slow and being very careful. Again, not trying to get black in my water. I definitely don't want to drink black water. That would be really gross. I'm taking my time. Look, I have a little bit down here and over here, and I'm going so slow. So I make it look like it's gray. Take out your black crayon, black crayon check. Make sure mommy and daddy are holding on tight and color with your gray crayon. Let me see over here. Oh, we're doing such a good job. Nice work. Nice job. Oh, look at this boy. I have to show this boy's paper. Look at this boy's paper. Look at that. Do you see that? Look how nice and neat that is. Look at his number five, and look how nice he was going so slow, trying to get around so he doesn't get black inside his pots. He's doing a good job. How are you doing, boys and girls watching? Nice. Way to go. Keep working hard. I like that hard work. Way to go. I love all these fun papers that we do every day so that we can even, I love how they go with our Bible stories, so that we can take them home and share what we have been learning in God's Word with our mommies and our daddies. What number did we write today? Oh, that's a question for you. What number did we write today, class? Five. Number what? Five. Number eight. No, we didn't write number five. eight. Five. Number five. Number five, good. We wrote number five. And number five is wearing his what? His big belly and his ball cap. And his ball cap, that's right, good. So today you go home and you tell mommies and daddies about how the lady shared her water with the servant and with the camels. And then you tell them all about this number, number what? Number five, good. Boys and girls watching, I hope you enjoyed coloring this paper. You go home and share this story too and tell all about number five.